My name is Randy Roberts. I'm a 150th anniversary professor and distinguished professor of history at Purdue University. Well, three adjustments have been made uh, recently. One's the pitch clock, 15 seconds. A pitcher has 15 seconds to pitch, to get ready to pitch. If nobody's on base, if somebody's on base, they have 20 seconds to pitch. Uh, the second change is the size of the base. It's gone from 15 square inches to 18 square inches. And third, they've kind of outlawed the shift, which they used to, they could use against right-handed, left-handed batters. And so now you have to have two baseball players, two fielders on either side of second base. The, the hope is that it speeds up the game, that creates more action. For example, if, if anybody, if, if you've gone to any major league games prior to this season, you know they can be interminably long. You know a pitcher can stand and look at the batter and then step back off the mound, the batter can step away from the plate. And it, basically what you have are big pitchers getting ready, loading up to throw probably a 100 mile an hour fastball or someplace in that vicinity. Uh, so to speed up the game, compared to basketball or football, which are much faster, the idea is, okay, we're going to speed up the game. We're going to make pitchers throw the ball earlier. The idea is to create more action and particularly creating more hits. You know, the game has evolved into a home run hitting contest and the idea is let's get back away from that. There's always been changes in the game. Okay, baseball is a sport that has evolved since the 1840s, since it was first played on a a really competitive basis. So, but recently, in 1973, uh, the designated hitter, where the pitcher doesn't hit, that you can put a hitter in for the pitcher. That was in the National League. Not until 2022 was it adopted in the American League, but that was a, a big significant change. Pure said, no, we can't do that. But you know, they, they don't realize in the early years, sometimes you'd, you threw underhanded. You threw the ball where the batter wanted to hit it. Uh, you know, sometimes three strikes were a strikeout, sometimes four strikes were a strikeout, five balls a walk. It's, it's changed dramatically over the past 150 years. If you ever watch SportsCenter, okay, and you watch the top 10 plays on SportsCenter, what do they show? They really don't show home runs that much because, you know, home runs. All home runs, unless they're a Mickey Mantle home run or a Reggie Jackson home run, look somewhat alike. We play in small ball, ballparks, a long ball, it's a home run. It's not really that dramatic. Far more dramatic is an inside the park home run, is a double that's close, is, is a stealing a base. You know, all of these things are much fielding a ball with one hand. All of these are much more exciting to watch. So the whole principle, the whole idea is to create more action, to create more hits, more singles, more doubles, and to get away from this throwing a 100 mile an hour fastball, either hit it for a home run or strike out. That's boring. That's just only two people are playing that game. The idea is to get everybody playing.